Hello guys, I'm JJ and welcome to the Trisio FAQ series. Here I give you some detailed answers to all the questions you may have during the creation of panoramas and tours with Trisio. Today's topic is about one of Trisio's key technologies, Anything. And I understand that 99% of users will always leave this feature on. Today, however, I will do a brief comparison of this feature on and off. Anything is Trisio's original image processing technology. With its assistance, overexposed and underexposed parts will be corrected. Panoramic photographs in particular require dynamic range optimization. This is mainly due to the wide-angle lenses of panoramic cameras, which tend to contain more complex light in a single image than a topical photograph. Now, we'll make a vision comparison. The afternoon before, I took panoramas indoors and outdoors, with the anything function on and off. So, let's compare. Next, I will use the twin and split function from Teleport Me, which allowed me to compare two photos of the same location straight away. Let's look outside first. At this point, the sun is right at the top of the building, and the image on the right, without anything on, the outline of the roof is completely invisible. In contrast, the picture on the left is much better with the help of anything. In the darker parts of the scene, the shade, anything also restores more detail and provides higher sharpness. At this angle, you can see that the images with anything on have more vibrant colors. Now let's go indoors. The sunlight from the window at the end of the lift corridor is very bright. In the picture without anything, this area is totally overexposed. You can barely see that there is also a lift and a doorway to the left and right of the end of the corridor. In contrast, the picture on the left retains the window frames. And you can even see some of the windows of the opposite building. There is also more detail in the plants, and the ground retains the blue of the sky. The darker parts of the interior of the other side are brightened up a bit. You can see from the pots and the plants. So, it seems that no reason can be found to turn off the NEC function. Well, as a Trisio employee, I would of course like to show you advantages of this technology with more examples. But frankly speaking, the price for more picture detail is longer shooting times. Given the positioning of Trisio Light 2, we think it will be used more indoors. So, the relatively long shooting time was considered acceptable by our developers. However, in some cases, such as when there are fast moving people or cars, the phenomenon of ghosting can easily occur. When shooting outdoors, there may be more uncertain distractions such as leaves or even clouds on a windy day. For your reference, I have recorded the shooting time of Trisol Light 2 for each of the two scenes mentioned above. In summary, anything technology certainly enhances the detail of the image and its benefits are very obvious. But perhaps in certain scenarios, such as outdoor in high winds or where there is no strong light contrast but lots of pedestrians and cars, you may also consider trying the anything function off for better results. That's all for this video and thanks for watching. We'll keep updating, so don't forget to subscribe. What other questions do you have about daily use of Trisio? 
Just feel free to drop us a line in the comment. We'll see you next time.